What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, it's that time again. It's cleaning time at the museum. And we have a couple vehicles uh, uh, that needed uh, tending to and and checked out. So... We said, hey, you know what? We got them out here. Let's do a video for you guys. And what the, the cleaning process... Well, let me introduce our two vehicles. And you've seen these vehicles um, before. But probably for our newer subscribers and newer viewership, um, these videos on some of these these figures and vehicles have been made about a year ago so it's always nice to to kind of reacquaint our viewership and our subscribers um with some of these these figures they just haven't seen them you know we have over 600 videos you know on our channel uh playlist and our catalog so um there's a very good chance that a lot of these these figures and vehicle sets Go unnoticed simply because we have so many videos and um, people tend to kind of just watch the um, the newer videos, the more current ones. Uh, but we, we have a ton. We have a ton and we have a ton of vehicles here in our museum. And uh, our first vehicle is one of my favorites. It's the World War II M8 light armored uh, car. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. It, I'm, I always refer to it as a tank. It is not a tank. It's a light armored car, but because it's mine <laughs> and it's in my museum collection, I have always referred to it as a tank. Um, I bought this this vehicle set uh, from Toys R Us back in 2001. And to give you a good indication of how old I was, in 2001, I was, I was 31 years old. So the cool thing about this is I, I like this. Uh, another reason, hidden reason, I really, uh, I'm very fond of this uh, light armored tank car. Um, is because it has the age I was when I purchased it. I was 31. I'm 48 years old now. And uh, that just shows you time truly waits for no one. <laughs> and over here, um, I love my, I love Jeeps. I absolutely love Jeeps. And this is our Willys MB Jeep vehicle. Here you have the hood opens, folding fabric top. This Willys Jeep has something that none of my other Jeeps possess, and that's an actual um, operational folding, folding fabric top. How beautiful and gorgeous is that? And this is from our Liberators, um, World War II Liberators uh, series. We had a lot of uh, beautiful figures from that, that series. This was the last one from that series. Um, these vehicles um, cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, both, both vehicles were over well, well over $100. And I bought this uh, Willys Jeep, uh, Willys MB Jeep vehicle uh, from Toys R Us as well. As you can see, it's, it's still, everything is factory sealed. It still has the plastic going across the hood, as all of my beautiful Jeeps do. Massive, massive tires. Nice and clean, though. They, the, they didn't, these, this particular uh, Jeep did not come with the uh, weathered um, looking tires, um, painted tires to give that weathered look. Uh, nice and clean. It has a, a spare on the back there get you around the side gas can um, back seat 
pan out a little bit. Came with a driver who is still locked in forever. <laughs> But he's he he wore a seatbelt, guys. <laughs> he wore a seatbelt. Um, these um, vehicles are some of my prized possessions here in our museum. Um, they are they've been kept in beautiful condition, and what we do. Uh, for the cleaning period, you see this this vehicle has has two awesome GI Joes. Uh, I always like to get more bang for my buck, and I could do that with these two beautiful. Let's see if I can get you an overhead shot here of these guys. He has a pistol strap coming across. Um, beautiful. Um, cleaning these guys or, 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 you know, people always ask me, um, well, what do you do as far as cleaning and caring for, um, uh, you know, these vehicles? Um, it's the box as well. We're definitely looking at, um, wear and tear on the box. These vehicles are too massive to be kept. I love these tires. Um, these vehicles are too massive to be kept in our main uh, museum um, collection room area. So they're they're kept in our world famous is becoming famous. Everybody talks about it. Um, eventually, guys, we're gonna let you see the archives, um, which there's nothing uh, glamorous about our archives. It's it's, not, it's poorly lit. Uh, we gotta get some more lighting in there, uh, but that's by design because we don't want a lot of light lighting we want it dark in there it's got tons of shell shelving um, where all these beautiful figures and vehicles are kept so but we're looking for wear and tear so um, from time to time I would say every six months we'll pull out uh, two vehicles to to check them and what we're looking for is uh, box integrity to see if the box has been um, affected by storage there's no light so we you know as you can see these these colors are still vibrant and we check the, the as you can see they have they're so massive um, you'll never be able to get a true C10 um, vehicle set because these boxes are absolutely monstrous. Um, they're just absolutely massive. So as you can see, you have a, a issue right there. Uh, that was there when I actually purchased it. Um, this is the last one they had. This is the last uh, Willys MB Jeep vehicle they had at Toys R Us uh, the day that I, I, I purchased this. So that wasn't a, a, a huge problem for me. Get you up top a little bit so you can see. So keeping these guys in pristine condition this is considered uh in my book anyway uh pristine condition um they are exactly how they were when i purchased them and that's a good gauge for any collector uh that that keeps his figures his or her figures or vehicles uh, or play sets in mib condition you know so you be the judge you know if it's exactly precisely how it looked when you took it off the toy store shelf that's in good condition and that's that's what we grade them by um, because these figures and stuff are are i mean they're just these sets are just so massive as you can see it's just how they're stored and placed in there hasbro did a great job though 
at displaying this these uh, massive, massive vehicle sets. I've seen these, uh, both of these uh, um, vehicle sets sell on eBay for well over five, six hundred dollars. That's on the cheap side. I've seen them go higher than that. I wouldn't go higher than that. But then again, I can, you know, people say, well, MIB, you can you can say that because you have these beautiful figures already in your possession. And they're they're absolutely right. So I can't say if I didn't have this vehicle, what I would pay for it. So truly, it's 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 worth whatever you're willing to pay for it, you know, but some of the prices that I've seen on these vehicles is astronomical it's just it's it's too high i don't know if it's worth it you know guys if you're just joining us please like and subscribe uh, this is what we do um, we hang out in our museum um, we do everything from uh the videos to we take requests and somebody asked a while ago how you know if I want to do a request real simple um, we have one simple rule for requests uh, you have to be a subscriber uh, a super subscriber and what we mean by a super subscriber is someone that definitely uh, comments likes um, visits the uh, channel on a regular basis um, because we want to dialogue with you guys. Um, we want to see what, you know, what you like, what you don't like. And having a channel, you know, I'm actually learning how to, um, you know, really cater to that. And we, we enjoy doing requests and, and really uh, fulfilling those needs a lot of collectors and a lot of uh, toy enthusiasts probably remember these toys. And I've heard a lot of times people tell me, you know, I've been reconnected with a toy because I, I saw it on your channel. And that's, you know, to us, that's the coolest thing that can be said when you have um, people watching your channel and love your channel the way, you know, the way I love it and the way I love these uh, these toys. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautifully done. All these uh, vehicles. Um, the cleaning process, again, as you can see, um, a lot of stuff is kept sealed to the, the inside of the box, the axe, the shovel, things of that nature. Uh, we have microfiber... Um, towels that we will dust the box off with uh, we will dust dust the uh, as you can see this the cellophane part window the window part which is nice and clear right now I think I'm getting my fingerprints on it but we'll dust that off we'll we'll uh, go over this they're too massive to for me to move and show you guys how I clean them um one day I'll I'll have one out and do a a cleaning tutorial just to show you how we actually uh care for them. But uh it's a process. It's a it's a long process because I'm very thorough. I'm I'm almost uh obsessive with it, you know, and, and making sure that they're clean and, and nothing's um bothering the box. Because we watch for all of that. They had a they use a lot of rubber bands on these sets. A lot of rubber bands. Why I don't know. I you guys, you know how I feel about those rubber bands. I hate those rubber bands. And you can see he has a ton of rubber bands on his hand. I mean it's one hand on a rubber band, he's got one on a stick shift over there. 
But uh, just just um, beautiful. These things are heavy. Um, these vehicle sets are very, very heavy, massive. Moving them is uh, not very easy, but we we have some nice plastic here on the um, on our staging area, which helps with being able to slide and move these guys. Uh, I had a, a collector tell me he has this one, but the antennas, uh, it's not meant in box like this, but the antennas are very, very um, fragile. So he accidentally broke his antennas um, because they're very, very fragile, a very thin plastic. The figures are very, uh, very good. But this is Hasbro uh, flexing its muscle. Um, in my mind, they put out the best vehicles. Um, there's a lot of toy companies that put out vehicles that that's extremely detailed and um, all of that 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 go for eight between eight to a thousand to to two thousand uh, dollars. Now you're not talking about a toy anymore, more than you're talking about, you, you know, a a <laughs> piece of equipment. You know that that is a a heavy duty price tag to pay um, for something that you would call a a toy. But I've seen these. Uh, I won't name the companies or anything like that. But that's why, like I said, I like Hasbro. Um, at the time they were putting these uh, vehicles out and they were just unquestionably unmatched by any toy company during that, that this time period in 2001 this was not a consider this was not a kit that you would put together like some companies would make these uh kit these tanks tank kits no this is a toy this is put together it's durable it's rugged um, it's heavy duty and it just oozes of fun. Uh, the playtime on this is probably, you know, limitless. I mean, it's just unlimited. A kid that could play with this is, is you know, in your imagination. So, but the thing is, and as shocking as this might sound, um, these vehicles didn't do very well. Um, sure, they did very. They did great for collectors, because I think they were made more for the collectors. A, a, a mom or a father simply uh, wasn't interested in paying over a hundred something plus dollars, maybe a hundred thirty, hundred forty dollars uh, for a tank, you know, GI Joe tank figure set for their kid when they could get them something a little bit cheaper uh, that wouldn't break break the uh, the budget or the bank account you know so this was geared towards uh the collecting demographic um people with bigger budgets they were a little bit older they had more of a connection with gi joe you know than any kid from 2001 but um you can find these fig these uh figure sets vehicle sets on like I said on Amazon, on uh, eBay, but you're you're talking about a lot of money, a ton of money. So I'm trying to get you every angle. So guys. We want to thank you for hanging out with us. We're going to get I'm going to get me a cup of coffee and I'm going to start this long dubious process of dusting these boxes and caring for these museum artifacts which they are now. <laughs> we like to thank you guys for hanging out with us. You know the routine, guys. God bless.
and keep collecting.